Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Robert Yang and today I'll be going over the medication called Zyprexa. The generic name is called Olanzapine. The first part I will be going over the patient education. Before going over what the medication is, let's look at what the medication treats. So what is schizophrenia? This is a serious mental disorder in which people interpret reality abnormally. It can impair daily life functioning and can be disabling. It requires lifelong treatment. Symptoms include hallucination, delusions, and disordered thinking and behaviors. The cause is unknown but believed to be a combination of both genetics, brain chemistry, and environment. In men, schizophrenia symptoms typically start in the early to mid-20s. In women, symptoms typically began in the late 20s. It is actually uncommon for children to be diagnosed with schizophrenia and also rare for those older than 45 years old. People with schizophrenia often lack awareness, but the difficulties stem from mental disorder that requires medical attention, so it often falls to family or friends to get them help. Suicidal thoughts and behavior are common among people with schizophrenia. If you have a loved one who is in danger of attempting suicide or have made a suicide attempt, make sure someone stays with that person. Call 911 or your local emergency number immediately. Or if you think you can do so safely, take the person to the nearest hospital emergency room. So the medication also treats bipolar disorder. What is bipolar disorder? This is formally called manic depression. This is a mental health condition that causes extreme mood swings that includes highs such as mania or hypomania and lows such as depression. Mania and hypomania symptoms include abnormally upbeat, decreased need for sleep, racing thoughts, distractibility, or poor decision making. Depression symptoms include feeling sad, hopeless, loss of interest, loss of energy, or decreased ability to think or concentrate. Causes include both biological changes or genetics. Although bipolar disorder is a lifelong condition, you can manage your mood swings and other symptoms by following its treatment plan. In most cases, bipolar is treated with medication and psychological counseling, such as psychotherapy. Despite the mood extremes, people with bipolar disorder often don't recognize how much their emotional instability disrupts their lives and the lives of their loved ones and don't get the treatment they need. Suicidal thoughts and behavior are common among people with bipolar disorder. Again, if you have thoughts of hurting yourself, call 911 or your local emergency number immediately. Now that we understand what the medication treats, let's look at what it is. So what is Zyprexa? This belongs to a group of medicines called antipsychotics it is used to treat schizophrenia and bipolar disorders. It is available as a tablet and as an injection. However, in this video, I'm only going to talk about the tablet. What are some important safety issues before taking Zyprexa? Use in elderly patients with dementia is not recommended. Do not take if you are allergic to this medication or any part of this drug. Also, do not drink any alcohol as they may make you feel more drowsy and do not start, stop, or change the dose of any drug without checking with your doctor. How do I take Zyprexa? So for oral tablet, you want to take the tablet by mouth and swallow whole. Drink lots of non-caffeine liquid, in this case most likely water, unless told to drink less liquid by the doctor. You can take it with or without food. However, if it causes stomach upset, take it with food. For the oral disintegrating tablet, do not push the tablet out of the foil when opening. Use a dry hands to take it out of the foil and then you want to place it under your tongue and let it dissolve. Water is not needed in this case. Do not swallow it whole, chew, break, or crush it. What are some important safety issues while taking Zyprexa? You want to tell your healthcare providers that you take this drug. Avoid driving and doing other tasks that require alert. You want to check your blood sugar, blood cholesterol, and weight gain regularly as it can increase these. And to lower the chance of feeling dizzy or passing out, rise slowly if you have been sitting down or lying down for a while. What can you expect from taking Zyprexa? So some common side effects include feeling dizzy, sleepy, tired, or weak. Shakiness, dry mouth, constipation, and even weight gain. And then for the adverse side effects, you may experience rash, hives, trouble breathing, fast or slow heartbeats, seizure, chest pain, even trouble controlling body movements. What happens if you miss a dose? 
You want to take the missed dose as soon as you remember it, and if it's close to the time for your next dose, then skip the missed dose and go back to your normal time. But never double dose or take extra doses. How do you store Zyprexa? You want to store at room temperature, protect it from light, store in a dry place, meaning do not store in the bathroom, keep it in a safe place away from children, and then throw any unused or expired drugs away immediately. For the oral disintegrating tablet, you want to use it right away after opening from the foil. And then throw away any part of the open pouch that is not used. Now on to my second part of the video lecture. I'm going to be going over the prescriber education. For the pharmacologic category, this is the antimatic agent. It is considered a second generation atypical antipsychotic. And interesting fact is that for the oral tablet, I've listed a few of these, but I'm not going to say every single one of them. Uh, the 2.5 milligram per each costs about $10.42 to $11.20. Um, and then the 10 milligram, it costs about $18.53 to $19.92. To In comparison to the oral disintegrating tablet, the 10 milligram actually costs $3.05 to $20.97. The recommended dosing adult for schizophrenia, the initial is 5 mg once daily. You can increase it to 10 mg once daily within several days, or you can just do 10 mg once daily. You may increase the dose based on the response in increments of 5 mg per day at intervals greater than or equal to 1 week and up to 20 mg per day. Max of 20 mg per day. However, further increase to 30 mg per day may be necessary uh, for some patients for optimal response. However, these are actually associated with increased adverse effects and are generally not recommended. In comparison, the recommended dosing in adults for bipolar disorder, acute mania, and acute hypomania, the initial is 10 to 15 mg by mouth once daily, may increase dose based on response and tolerability in 5 mg increments at intervals greater than or equal to 1 day and up to 20 mg per day. Some patients may even require doses up to 50 mg per day for optimal response. In bipolar major depression, the initial is 5 mg by mouth once daily. Again, this actually may be increased in 5 mg increments for every 1 to 7 days and up to 15 mg per day or up to 20 mg per day. For the maintenance treatment, this is 5 to 20 mg per day, max dose of 20 mg per day. However, for patients who require doses up to 50 mg per day to achieve remission, continue remission achieving dose as tolerated. And the treatment of chronic psychiatric disease switching therapy rather than discontinuation is generally advised if side effects are intolerable or treatment is not effective. If patient insists on stopping treatment, I recommend gradual dose reduction. Over several weeks to months, this is actually advised to detect a reemergence of symptoms and to avoid withdrawal reactions. This may include agitation, dyskinesia, insomnia, GI symptoms, and myalgia. Dosing conversion Onlazepine and fluoxetine fixed dose combination. When using individual components of onlazepine with fluoxetine rather than a fixed dose combination product, Corresponding approximate dosage equivalents are as follows. For lazapine 2.5 mg plus fluoxetine 20 mg, this is going to equal the combination strength of 3 and 25. Another one, for example, 12.5 mg of lazapine and 20 mg of fluoxetine, the combination strength is 12 and 25. And then for the 12.5 mg of lazapine and the 50 mg of fluoxetine, the combination strength is 12 and 50. So the good thing about this medication is that if a patient has altered kidney function, there's actually no dosage adjustment. For hepatic impairment, there is no dosage adjustment except when using combination of fluoxetine. The initial olanzapine dose should be limited to 2.5 to 5 mg daily. What is the mechanism of action? So it displays potent antagonism of serotonin 5-HT2A and 5-HT2C. It also affects dopamine D1-4, histamine H1, and alpha adrenergic receptors. The precise mechanism of action in schizophrenia and bipolar disorder is actually not known. However, it has been proposed that the drug's efficacy is mediated through a combination of serotonin and dopamine antagonism. 
for the pharmacokinetics, onset of action for bipolar disorder, acute mania. The initial effects may be observed within days of treatment with continued improvements over one to two weeks. For schizophrenia, the initial effects may be observed within one to two weeks of treatment and with continued improvements through four to six weeks. It is well absorbed. It is not affected by food and tablets and oral disintegrating tablets are actually bioequivalent. Volume distribution is a thousand liter. For the protein binding, it is 93% bound to albumin and also alpha glycoprotein. It is highly metabolized via the glucuronidation and cytochrome P450 mediated oxidation. CYP1A2 and CYP2D6. 40% removed uh, first pass metabolism. The half life elimination is 30 hours, approximately 1.5 times greater in elderly. And then the time of peak is 6 hours excretion and urine, 57%, 7% as unchanged drug, and then feces is 30%. The clearance is 25 liters per hour, 40% increase in olanzapine clearance in smokers, and then 30% decrease in females. For the medication safety issues, sound alike, look alike issues. Olanzapine may be confused with osalazine and cutiapine. Zyprexin may be confused with Zestro or Zyrtec. For geriatric patients, this is a high risk medication. Various criteria, antipsychotics are identified as potentially inappropriate medications to be avoided in patients 65 years old or older due to increased risk of stroke and greater rate of cognitive decline in mortality in patients with dementia. Use with caution due to cause or exacerbate syndrome and appropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion. You want to monitor sodium closely with initiation or dosage adjustment. The good thing about Zyprexa is that there are no contraindications for monotherapy. However, when using Zyprexa with fluoxetine in combination, refer to the contraindications for Symbiax. So here are some drug interactions with Zyprexa. When using diazepam, this can actually potentiate orthostatic hypotension. Using inducers of CYP1A2, there could be 50% increase in clearance of Zyprexa. Inhibitors of CYP1A2, there's a decreased clearance of Zyprexa. Using charcoal, there's a reduced in the CMAX and AUC of Zyprexa by 60%. And then central nervous system acting drugs. Caution should be used when Zyprexa is taken in combination with other centrally acting drugs and alcohol. And then the last one here is antihypertensive agents may enhance hypotension. Here is my references to today's video. I hope you learned something today and be on the lookout for my next video. Take care and bye-bye.